guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back playing some arc, doing some tutorials, showing y'all how to play the game for those of you who are new, because the game is releasing in, what, just a couple weeks now, on August 8th? Holy crap, we got a lot of stuff to do before then. Uh, if you guys do enjoy these videos, if you're learning something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, and of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring that notification bell if you haven't done so already. So... Today I want to do a couple things. Number one, it's time to get out of a thatch hut. We do not no longer need thatch. It's time to upgrade. We're gonna need some more space, and I'm gonna show you guys why. Because today we are gonna to talk about basic crafting stations. And I've been gathering up a little bit of stuff on this guy. Got some thatch. We got some wood. We need a lot more. So I'm gonna off camera just gather up a ton of thatch, a ton of wood, a ton of everything, um, so we can go ahead and get stuff ready, and then I will bring y'all back. All right, guys, we have gathered up a bunch of stuff. We're gonna gather up a bunch more, but. We want to start making everything out of wood. So first we're going to do wood foundation and we're going to craft, I'm thinking, 9, 10, 12 of them. We can start with 8 at least. Now I'm going to go ahead and craft that and a bunch of other building pieces and then I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, we've made a bunch of building pieces. So to start replacing it, you can just click the building piece you want on your hotbar. And you can't really see it good in thatch, but you can hover over it and it'll automatically replace it like so. And we get some of your materials back from the thatch. Or you can hold E on a piece and go to demolish and hold that and demolish it that way. Um, for our sake, I'm just going to go ahead and replace everything and build out a little bit bigger here. Okay, the basic frame of the house is built. I did add some windows just to make it look a little more aesthetically pleasing. We're going to go two stories high. I put a door on both sides of the building. And I also made some ramps. Which, did I grab the ramps? I did not. Uh, let's go ahead and grab those. There we go. So that we can throw it down here so it's easier to get up and down check that out very simple okay and we'll put one on the other door too and we'll go ahead and make the sucker too high and then we'll bring y'all back all right so here's what i've done i added a ramp inside going up through the ceiling so we can have a second story which we probably don't really need but kind of just making it just for fun so i made these sloped wood pieces here uh it says slope wood wall left and right so you can use those to make kind of a slope roof like this all right, guys, so now that we've got ourselves a nice little, like, wood hut slash cabin kind of thing here, two stories, starting to look like an actual little house, which is kind of cool, two floors, it looks great, we got ourselves a little cabin, it's time to start filling it up with stuff, so first thing I want to do is make some more crafting stations, uh, so let's grab some wood, some fiber, uh, and we learned the large storage box, so we're going to go ahead and make, there we go, three of those, I'm probably going to have to gather up some more stuff, but also, there's a couple different crafting stations we want, because you can't make everything on your person. For some things, you need stations. And so the basic ones, we're going to want a campfire or a cooking pot. We'll make both just to check them out. A mortar and pestle. Uh, a smithy right there. And a forge. So that's kind of what we want to work on making right now. So I'm going to gather the materials for those things and bring you back after that. All right, guys. We've got all sorts of stuff gathered, and we're going to go ahead and look at what we need here. So first, let's look at the mortar and pestle for that we will need hide which i did gather some of and flint let's just grab a little bit of everything here so we can just kind of start making stuff bam 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 okay so let's go make mortar and pestle personally i like to make two of them in the beginning i'll show you why in a bit smithy what are we short on for the smithy metal ingots Ooh, that's something fancy so let's see if we can make the forge what do we need for that more stone so we'll go and make a forge. Uh, let's see, do we have enough to make two forges? Sure do. Let's make two of those. Um, let's make a campfire. And you know what, let's make a cooking pot as well. Just so we have the full gamut of things. Now usually you don't really need a cooking pot, but we'll place it, play with it just for fun. Um, so let's go ahead and throw these things. Let's see, uh, this is not the biggest area in the world. We could put it upstairs and have our crafting area up here. Personally, I like to have it down there, but you know what, let's do it. Let's put it up here, just for this sake. So we'll have a forge right here. And then next to it, we'll have another one. Perfect. We'll put our mortar and pestles uh, maybe over here in this corner. Just on the ground here. And we'll put the cooking stuff, the campfire, and the cooking pot down here, I think. Yeah, so we'll stick this guy right there. Now, you think you might burn your house down having the campfire inside, but it actually does not work that way in Ark. In the cooking pot, you can throw in wood. Let's throw like half of it in there and light it. So in the campfire, you just throw meat in here and there is an industrial cooker later. And you go and let that sit in there to cook and use this cooked meat to heal yourself up a bit and to 
make your hunger go away. This will create charcoal and so will the campfire, which is a material that you get from burning wood. If you burn thatches fuel, which you can do, you will not get charcoal just from wood. And you can use that then to craft up uh, gunpowder and things like that. Now let's go ahead and look at these forges and mortar and pestle up here. So the mortar and pestle, you have some things that you craft inside them. So you open it up by going up and hitting E or F and it'll open this. Um, and you have different kind of consumables you can make. You can make uh, narcotics, and plus there's gonna be more as we learn more. Spark powder, cementing paste, gunpowder, all these things. Um, so spark powder is gonna be made using flint and stone, which will then use that to make gunpowder with the charcoal. Cementing paste is used to craft up all sorts of stuff. Narcotics you use to not keep dinos knocked out, and we'll show you that in a future episode. You craft stuff in there. Now the forge turns metal into metal ingots. So you throw that in there, I'll throw it in with some thatch, and we'll light it, and for every two metal pieces, you will get one ingot. So we're gonna need to gather some more of that up, because we do need some more to uh, go ahead and craft the smithy. So I'm gonna leave that in there, and I'm gonna go try to gather some metal. Now the way you gather metal is with a pick. Now the chance of getting metal is very low with a stone pick, um, but you can get it from any rocks. These are kind of like your normal rocks here. You can get it, but the chance is very low. There are also river rocks, which I don't think we'll find over here in the ocean, but let's take a quick look. And they're definitely a more rounded type rock and they have a higher chance of metal. Yeah, I'm not seeing any here. And then there are also metal nodes. Now we are nowhere near metal nodes right now, so we're gonna see those in a future episode. But right now I'm just gonna take a pick. I'm gonna beat a rock a bunch of times and see if we can, can't get any metal. All right, guys. So after a solid like 15 minutes of gathering, we were only able to get 14 metal. And now look how much other flint and other stuff we're able to get. So just so you know, there is a very low chance of getting it. Let's go ahead and throw that stuff in the forge and we'll see how it goes. I make two, because once you get a lot of metal, throwing it in two will make it go twice as fast. <laughs> and hopefully, we'll, and then we'll let the stuff craft into ingots because the smithy is going to require, how many is it, five? Five metal ingots. So we're, I'm gonna go ahead and get all the other materials ready and let that stuff smelt up and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, we've got our five metal ingots and we're letting the other stuff craft up. For, for now, let's go ahead and make the smithy. And the smithy is gonna be kind of like your main crafting station and that's not gonna go away pretty much for the whole game. You only need one of them. Uh, you can make two if you want, but you'll probably never use two. We're gonna go ahead and throw this sucker right here. But uh, let's go ahead and learn some metal tools. Are we high enough level, level for that? Let's do metal. Yeah, we are. Metal pick, metal hatchet, metal sickle, and there should be a metal pike as well. Uh, which I don't see on here. Oh, maybe it's just called pike. <laughs> and pike. Um, you also make all sorts of some later building stuff in here and just all sorts of stuff. You'll figure, you'll see it all. Um, so in here we can make, instead of using the stone pick and hatchet, we can make metal versions. We require metal ingots, uh, and so does the pike and the sickle. Uh, now we're not gonna have to make all of these. The sickle gathers fiber, which is super useful, um, and it's good for harvesting fish. Uh, the pike cannot be thrown, even though the spears can, but uh, it does not break like the spears randomly can. And of course, the pick and the hatchet are upgraded versions of those things. So let's see, how many ingots do we have? Four here, let's turn that off. Let's see if we can make one of these suckers. Uh, let's just transfer all in here. Weapons, melee. Uh, so we need eight ingots for a hatchet, but all we can make is a pick. Now with the pick, you are gonna have a higher chance of getting metal, so usually it is the very first one you wanna build. Now the downside of the metal pick is that you cannot cra uh, repair it inside your inventory. You can only repair it in the smithy, which is kind of unfortunate, but it is so much better of an item. It gathers things faster, it breaks less, and uh, it also has a higher chance of getting metal both from regular rocks and, of and especially from metal nodes when we do see those. Um, and we'll get to metal nodes as soon as we can get somewhere. Uh, but those are going to be your basic crafting stations. It's definitely kind of the next level to upgrade. We do need to get some more dinos and whatnot. We need to do a lot more harvesting and gathering of materials and everything. Um, but for today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. Um, this is definitely just a short video to show you guys all the basic crafting stations and kind of how to next upgrade your arc life. If you guys did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring that notification bell if you haven't done so already. You can also check me out on all our social medias, your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter. I even got a Snapchat at Obadiah X um, and a Google Plus, even though nobody ever uses it. And check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Obadiah X. And I have a link to a Streamlabs tip jar in the description below. 
Also, we do all sorts of streaming. I would love for you guys uh, to come join me and some other people that I play with and do some streaming with us and play some games with us. Anyways, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.